Hi everybody, uh, back out at the field again today with my 90% uh, Namsi MiG 35B built with uh, Dollar Tree foam. Um, today I want to talk a little bit more specifically about this uh, this little beastie of a motor. Um, I talked about it in the last video. Uh, this is the B Rotor Z2207 2780KV motor. Today I'm uh, running the 6x3 uh, EMP or also known as uh, TGS if you buy them from uh, from Hobby King, I pick up mine from uh, RC Timer. Uh, I think I get five of them for less than five dollars. Uh, I'm not sponsored by <laughs> RC Timer. I just, you know, they have some some uh, goodies there. So anyway, um, I think that this is. Uh, I don't know. You're going to be able to compare in the video. Uh, I, I just got a little cheat sheet here. I'll just read off. Um, on the bench, uh, at half throttle, this pulled about 12.9 amps with this prop, the six by three. Uh, kicking out about 17.4 ounces of thrust, a full throttle, uh, 20, about 28 and a half amps, 29 ounces of thrust. The funny thing is, uh, what I found with some of the, uh, uh, two of these quad racing motors I've tested is the bench numbers for the 6x4 EPC, which I ran in the last video, uh, really don't show very well, but then I get out to the field and it, and it, you know, it flies really well. So. Uh, you know, I've got 56 year old eyeglass assisted Mark 1 eyeball, so um, I think it's a bit faster with this 6x3 EMP prop. It's definitely faster mid range, but anyway, um, not sure. Now I got lost my train of thought here. Anyway, with the 6x4 EPC, it's pulling more amps at half throttle 14.8 uh, amps, uh, but only uh, was generating 13.2 ounces of thrust, full throttle. Uh, 34.7, so almost 35 amps, quite a quite a jump, uh, like a 25% jump in amp draw, but on the bench it was showing only 21.3 ounces of thrust, but in the air I think it was performing uh, much better. Um, I also tested the Master Air Screw 6x4x3 prop, um, w uh, and I flew that yesterday, but I don't think I'll use that prop on this, uh, on this motor, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, later on but I think that from a standpoint of of all-around speed and efficiency that the, so far this 6x3 uh, EMP or TGS prop uh, is the best so uh, anyway if you've watched my previous video uh, with the 6x4 EPC I'll, uh, I'll kind of let you be the judge I know it's a horrible day here uh, hopefully my plane will scare, scare away the last of this early morning fog the sun's in the worst possible place but uh, I'm a big enough dork as it is, so I try to get to the field when there's nobody else here because walking around with this camera attached to my head talking to myself makes me seem like a bigger dork than I already am. But anyway, here we go. Let's have a thrash. So again, 60% throttle on launch. Bring her around here. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not sure. What I do notice though is, you know, I tend to, about 80% of the time when I'm flying around, I'm probably at around 60% throttle. I just find that that's, <laughs> she's quick. Uh, you know, that's sort of where I like my throttle setting. And I would say that this is definitely, uh, at 60% throttle feels faster than the 6x4 EPC prop did. The acceleration, like when I hammer the, hammer the throttle to it as you'd expect with a you know with a prop that's um, got less pitch uh, the acceleration is is uh, definitely noticeably more instant oh yeah baby <laughs> speed is life I gotta stop having so much fun <laughs> So lots of, uh, you know, lots of vertical thrust. Again, you know, 29 ounces of thrust. This plane only weighs, with a, with a three cell battery, it only weighs 19 and a half. So it's, you know, I've got a pretty ridiculous thrust to weight ratio. Okay, we'll go above the sun here. I think it's, uh, again, uh, 56 year old ears deadened by listening to far too much heavy metal music. I think that this is a little louder maybe than the 6x4 EPC, 
Uh, you know, slightly different prop, uh, you know, different, well, not slightly, considerably different prop shape. Uh, I think it might whine, whine a little more, um, you know, just a higher pitch frequency, but uh, again, too much Led Zeppelin in my early days. <laughs> my ear, my ears might not be as sensitive as what they used to be. <laughs> Oh yeah, that would go vertical. We'd be up where Jim Kirk, uh, Jim Kirk, and the Starship Enterprise used to live before too long there. Plenty of uh, vertical, vertical power there. Little G. All right, so I don't blind myself in the sun just before landing here. Very nice. Okay, so there's uh, the um, B Rotor Z2207 2780kV motor, uh, three cell, uh, six by three EMP prop. Uh, running a 40 amp speed controller, I could probably, if I was going to run this prop uh, full time, uh, which I, I probably will, I'm going to probably be able to drop down to a 30 amp speed controller. Uh, you know, getting into the fall winter weather, it's much cooler today. It's I think it's a maybe I don't know four degrees Celsius, uh, so uh, uh, shouldn't have much of a problem. So I did run the Master Air Screw six by four by three prop, which is one of my favorites on a fairly wide range of prop jet uh, or prop jet, park jet style motors and has worked really well on the other quad racing motor I got from RC Timer, the FR2205-2550. The strange thing is with the 6x4x3 is it seems that any time I put it on a motor that's 2700 uh, kV or higher is it gets to a point of diminishing returns. Like, you know, you get, you hammer the throttle and it gets, it winds out and then it's like you, you're expecting, okay, I should be getting more speed out of it. Uh, and it, it, it just doesn't. And uh, then it also is huge amp draw. Like I think on the bench, it, the six by four by three was drawing like uh, 37 amps or something like that. Uh, I'm still waiting. Uh, so if anybody from RC Timer is listening in, uh, I've emailed RC Timer twice to try and find out what the actual amp limit is on this uh, on this motor. Uh, their charts that they show on their website are uh, very, very confusing to an old guy like me. Uh, but anyway, uh, even though I pushed it hard with the, the 6x4x3 prop in field testing, uh, the motor wasn't too bad. So um, actually, uh, let's just, uh, I've been standing here yapping and I should have checked it. So and again, 40 amp, 40 amp uh, speed controller uh, very cool. There's not, it's, it's basically ambient air temperature there. Uh, same with the motor. Uh, this is a 40 C battery. So yeah, it's not even, not even bothering it there. So yeah, I could lighten it up by another seven or eight grams, uh, drop a, a 30 amp speed controller in there and, uh, uh, you know, lighten it up even more. Um, if I decide that this is the prop I'm going to use full time. So what I'm going to do is, um, I, to, to, because this plane is smaller, I built it purposely built it smaller than than most park jets. Is what I'm going to do is uh, eventually I'm going to swap this motor into another plane. I have an RC Powers F22 version five with the other RC Timer uh, quad racing motor. I'm going to swap it in and see if this is actually uh, you know a, a, a more powerful and faster motor. I mean it's slightly bigger and has slightly more KV, but uh, you know, sometimes until you play around. So anyway, um, that's going to be the next next up. But uh, yeah, these little um, quad uh, racing motors uh, in the right in the right plane uh, with the right setup are uh, are really uh, uh, good bang for the buck. I think punch punch above their weight for sure. So anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience, listening to my jabbering uh, and with with the sun. <laughs> now I have to go. 
<laughs> go sit in the dark for a while. <laughs> My eyes are spotty. Uh, anyway, uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Uh, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.